Fancast. My name is Luke Payson, and I am joined today by first time guest of the show, Tim Bailey. Tim, welcome to the show. Hey, uh, thanks for having me, my man. I'm thrilled to have you on the show. Uh, you are one and one as an amateur MMA fighter. You have fought for two, four, seven fighting championships twice, and you've got a third fight coming up for them uh, at the two, four, seven fighting championships. December 17th, Monroeville Convention Center fight. So let's jump right in on the fight coming up, and then we'll talk about your two previous fights and kind of what you learned from them. But how do you feel we're a couple of weeks away now from that big fight? Oh, man, I feel, I feel great. Uh, weight's uh, at a good place. Um, as always with the, any uh, fight camp, you start having those little jitters every now and then throughout your day at work. You get real excited for it. You might have a little self-doubt. You just got to, you know, shake it out, you know, and just get back to being excited for you know, what's ahead. And is part of that excitement you training at Stout Pittsburgh? What's it like training with those guys there? And who are your main training partners and how things have been going there? Oh, man, I love it. You know, I've been uh, training mainly here at Stout for about three years now. And this uh, this gym here, um has been the gym I've been the most consistent with uh in these past three years and uh as far as training partner goes it's it's endless man <laughs> I love I love all my training partners um I'd say um I go a lot with uh Josh Olson and uh Mason Deless. um Mason mainly like when I first started coming here like he was one of the main guys just you know kind of showing me the way so I uh, really like going with him and just learning from him well mason deles has a great fight at brawl on the road 15 as well he's advanced amateur on that card i knew when yep. he was on the show he mentioned you he mentioned a bunch of the fighters he's excited about his own career um as you know he's looking uh at that higher level amateur and then looking to see what pro looks like and he mentioned about you and others at the gym being big part of of what keeps uh, the fighting going forward. So now yeah. let's look let's look backwards a little bit. You've got that fight coming up for Braun the Berg 15 um, at Rover Convention Center. People need to get tickets, all of those great things. Um, you had a debut, you won your debut, and then you lost your sophomore outing by a, a very close decision. What, what were those two fights like now that you're away from them a little bit? Yeah, looking back at it, you know, one of the, one of my biggest takeaways uh, even in the fight that I won, my first fight, I felt like I could have been a little bit more active. Um, so that's one thing that I've been working on in the gym. Uh, anytime I come in, I just – when I'm sparring or even in just drilling, m maintaining good posture, good stance, and just, you know, getting my hands going a little bit more, I tend to hesitate a little bit. And I believe that was the main reason as to why I lost my, uh, my last fight, split decision. Well, it's great that you can see something on which you can improve. And obviously, you've got the gym and the training uh, to back up your development, which is great. What do you want to see out of yourself? It, this is your third trip. And for people that don't fully know, if you win this fight, you'll be at the advanced amateur level. If you have a two and one record in the state of Pennsylvania, um, you can then go advanced amateur, which is better opponents but also a bigger rule set so uh for you what do you want to see out of yourself in there uh for 247 coming up december 17th yeah not to sound repetitive but just you know let my hands go a little bit more you know like uh just focusing more on the performance than than the win obviously i want to get the win but performance over that you know because you know anything can happen judges can say whatever they want to say you know, I got a hard lesson in that, but just if I focus on performing uh, to what I know I can do, then I, I, I think I'll do well. I think I'll do all right. Well, and I, I think that's a great mindset for you to have. You're, you've also been in there twice before, so you know you can do it. It's a matter of kind of looking for those opportunities to perform a little bit. People even talk at the higher levels, 10 fights into their pro career, how it's all about seeing opportunities and taking those openings and timing. I mean, it just gets you just get better and better and better at it. So um, I'm really pumped that you could come on and talk about it. I think the whole card's going to be incredible. We say this 
every fight, but whether it's a debut versus debut, that was you just a little bit ago. Yeah. Those fights are really exciting because you got to start someplace and then all the way up to the advanced amateurs and then all the way up to the pros. So thanks so much for taking time out. Um, I know it's very busy. You're still very busy in camp. So it's been great having you on and can't wait to see what you and everyone else, all the other fighters do um, coming up December 17th. Thanks so much for coming on the show. You've been listening to Tim uh, Bailey with Luke Payson at MMA FanCast. Thanks so much. Have a good night. You got it.